Hey guys, my name is Alec. I'm here with Michigan Machinists. Uh, we're going to do a little, cool little video here on how to set up and run a wire EDM. So I hope you guys learn a lot from this video and thanks for subscribing to our channel. Hey guys, we're making some little plunger tips today. You can see that. Little five axis wire EDM machine we're wiring them out on. So basically what you start with Get some bar stock, some stainless, get it to size both ways. Can be shorter, longer, we're just punching them out in steps. Um, so right here, I got my slugs. You can kind of see the part. Obviously when it wires, this slug falls off. Then it actually wires the part off of this slug. And then you end up with this. It leaves a little nub on the back side. Um, and then we wire the nub off and you start back with a fresh blank. You just offset the machine to wire off the same blank. So over here, it down inside the machine, you can see I already got it, my piece in here clamped down. It's indicated this way, I indicated the back edge, fed my wire, I picked up, according to my program, Y is back here, X is that side, everything is taut. So now I can go ahead and fill the machine with water. Go ahead and cut. All right, guys, now we got our tank filled. I uh, got program loaded. I got to manually jog my Z down. My Z is set. Go back to my run, load my program. And then as you can tell, I got a little diagram. It tells me where my cut is in the program. So my program's down here. This is a little diagram telling me where I'm at. So when I hit go, that little red dot right here star is where the wire is in the program so it moves kind of relatively slow it's kind of hard to tell but if you ever walk away and you come back wonder where you're at look for that red dot so now we're going to take our little cut piece and come over here to the mill and we're going to finish the process what's up bob hey, hey, hey. what's up guys don't listen to what he said <laughs> All right, so basically that little nub leaves on a wire, a little rough spot right there. We're gonna mill that down somewhat flat. So our first program, we got a list here, our program number. We're gonna load it into the machine. We got little 100,000 step jaws. Now all my tools are already taught, my program's in here, so it's gonna be kind of short. But put it in my jaws, clamp it in. Shut the door, and now I have two different programs. There's two programs to finish this. There's a flat here, and then we got some 3D machining that's going to mill this little angle on in this little slot. So I'm going to run the first program to make this flat. So that's what we're going to run now. I'm going to load that. Program is in there, it's only one tool, it's a half inch cutter. Um, gonna hit go. It's like a 20 second program, not very long. And that is it. So now we're gonna pull that part out. That first op is done. As you can see, nice finished flat. Measure it. It's supposed to be 92, 93 thou. As you can see, 92. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to, I have a stop set up over here. We're going to put it against this stop, against that little tab sticking up. Put it in there, hold it over. Clamp our vise, shut the doors. We're going to load our other program now. Type in the program number, O search. All our tools for that as well are in there and taught. Our work offset is taught, so I can, once again, I can just hit go. So right there, we're just almost finishing up. We're milling the slot. All right, guys, so our program is done. Just over five minutes. When it's all done, that's the end result. We got a nice through slot, little 3D machining on this little angle here. 
And that's the finished part.